Okay, so let's see. Second try is a charm, let's hope. There we go. Okay, we'll give just a minute for it to get into your news feed. Let me get everything set up here. Not normal for me to be at this time of the day. Hey Arla, nice to have you with me. So Facebook was being kind of a, doing a weird thing. It um, always wants you to sometimes log in on the, in most inappropriate, not inappropriate, but in difficult times when they really want you to do that. Hey Lynn, how are you? I haven't had them ask me to log in for months and out of the blue, all of a sudden they decide, oh, let's have you log in. Well, that involved going and getting materials to see what all I had. So, all right. So we're going to go on ahead and get started here. And this is the card that I am basing mine on today. I have not used this. Good morning. Or good, good afternoon, Anne. This is going to throw me. I'm going to want to say good morning to everybody. So this is a card that Jim got from Tina Levitt. Tina has been on here before. For those of you that were with the... Um, the speed bingo night. She has. She was here and did one of the Brayer um, techniques. And then we also have had Tina on several times on Tuesday night with um, sharing some projects and things. So um, this was a card that she sent to Jim. And I had never seen this in person. I've seen it on, um, pe people post it on their, um, their, Facebook and, and pictures, but I'd never seen it. So this is how it works. It opens up like this. And I thought, how cool is that? So then I immediately started looking at it because Jim said, you know, you ought to come see this card. It made an impression on him. So that's what I'm doing today. And mine is this one, only it's in the Easter. It doesn't lay quite as flat and nice as hers. And I'm hoping it's because it hasn't been run through the mail or something like that. But when I open it, there's what we get. Isn't this a neat fold? I have no idea what it's called. Might be Facebook was having problems last week. That could very well be. Hey, Darla, nice to have you with us today. So this is the card that I'm going to share with you, and I'm going to concentrate on how to make the fun fold. In my card, I used embossing. I was I was on a gold embossing kick last yesterday, working on a sampler, and I had this on there, and I didn't really like it. It really was not large enough for the square that I had. And um, Chris Howe posted on our group. She posted a um, sampler that she made with the blossom emboss, how do I want to put, the emboss dies that are with it, no stamped image. And it was so cute. So I took that, I took these off. This is what's messed up. So these actually came straight off of something else last night. And, you know, if you are ever having problems and you want to take something off, turn your scissors sideways, slide under there, and just clip the dimensional. I cut it, it's cut in half, and when I take it off, I can literally rub off the adhesive and take care of it. Hey Patricia, nice to have you with us too. So, here's the card, let's get started. I, again, I have no idea what it's called, so I'm gonna call it Tina's Fish Card until somebody tells me what the real name is. Okay, so we're gonna start with the white. This is going to be, and it's an unusual measurement. Now my waiting for the video. Are you guys there? I assume I'm still in sync. So, yep, there we are again. Being weird today. So I'm going to go on ahead and take this 
and I'm gonna score it at one and three fourths and three and a half. One and three fourths and three and a half. Yes, I'm thankful it's back. I don't know why it's being so weird. Now, all I did was flip it. I'm not going to try and measure across to these measurements. I'm just going to flip it and do it again. So flip it around and then one and three fourths, three and a half. All right. Taking your bone folder, I'm going to fold this in and crease. And then I'm going to fold this back. Anyone going to Houston, if you're a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I know several of you are. Are you heading to Houston this weekend? We leave on Wednesday. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. The annual catalog is going to be announced. So we'll see what new stuff is coming. Okay. All right, so there it is. And I think because of, um, I think I decided it's a lot easier. Mm, so sorry to hear that, Ann. I know you've had a lot of health issues this year. We're gonna start in the middle and we're gonna actually stamp it. So I took the stamp and I'm using the Easter Lilies. Give me a second. I'm using the Easter Lilies stamp set and dies. And then I wanted, I wanted Easter greetings too. And the only Easter greetings I found real fast was Happy Easter that's on the Excellent Egg. So I'm using He is Risen, Happy Easter. And I'm going to stamp them with Granny Apple Green. Put this at the top. And then the Granny Apple Green. Okay. Those of you that won, I know several of you here um, won on Speed Bingo. The prizes came in Friday. They are packaged and postage done. They are ready for pickup tomorrow morning, everybody. Okay, all of them. The only ones that are not in the postage are for the two people that were here in town, and theirs is not. They'll pick them up. So be ready. It's coming. The blocks are here. I know, Darla, your order's there. It's all done. Okay, so now I'm going to go on ahead, and I'm going to take this, and this is five and a half, five and a half by four and a quarter. And you know me, I like to have some uh, mats, double matted. So this one here is five and three-eighths by four and an eighth. Okay. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to go on ahead right now and put this on and it's going to be tight. It, you really don't see an awful lot of the yellow on either side, but you do at the top and the bottom. Yep, Kathy, it's coming. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to tape this on the back. And it goes on top of the mat. So again, it's very, very snug. Okay, so that's the actual card by itself, okay? So now let's go on ahead and let's look at these pieces here. So the pieces here that we need are three Granny Apple Greens, three Lemon Lolly, 
And then I went with the granny apple, um, not the granny apple green, but the lemon lime twist. Uh, glorious gingham. I wanted something a little different. So I'm going to go on ahead and put these together. And the measurements of these are one in a one in three eighths by one and three eighths by three and a half. So this must be one and a half by three and five eighths. And this one here will be one and three fourths by three and a qu three quarters. So it all just kind of falls into play. So we're gonna go on ahead and put those together and stack them. So I was thinking, you know, Patricia, the night after we talked, we did the um, speed bingo. You you sent me a text and you said, I would love, wish we could do it more often than just a couple of times a year, the speed bingo. It was fun. It is a fun thing to do. And I was sitting here and I thought, but I like to pair it, not just, I don't want to just do bingo. I want to pair it with a, a class because I, I feel like it just makes it more there's more to it, more value to it. So um, I'm going to go on ahead and suggest, what about a intricate fun folds where we're doing um, fun folds that are not maybe the easiest to do, but we include all the card kits and we send you all the pieces to the fun folds and do like four or five fun folds. Would you be, does that sound like anything interesting. Johnny, you're heading to rehearsal tonight. I know you do. You do love fun folds. You do a lot. I think fun folds are just very versatile. There's two of you that said, okay. Jonna is heading off to rehearsal. She is one of the, um, they're doing the local Repertory Theater is doing um, The Music Man. And, uh-huh, Jonna says yes on Fun Folds. Anne said yes. Darla says anything. See, it just made it fun. We had a good time that night. Anyhow, um, Jonna is one of the, I don't know, pick a little gals. She's one of... Mrs. McKechnie Chin's friends that do all of the, the gabbing around town and the Grish and Urn. So if you're coming to Macon around any in April, come on over and see Music Man. All right, so there's these sections here. Now, believe it or not, this is the easiest part of this thing. This thing is going to go so fast because... You think, oh my gosh, to have to get them spaced just accordingly. Well, when I studied Tina's, Tina's lines up right at the top. So literally, you're just lining it up right on that corner. And then coming across about a quarter of an inch. So it goes all the way to the top. You leave nothing up here. And if you do this one, and you come down and do this one, the little one in the middle is an easy piece of cake. So I'm gonna go on ahead and figure up in my head what about how much I need adhesive on. No farther than this. Wanna make sure I've got plenty of adhesive. And it goes all the way to the top. When I say to the top, it goes up here. It does not leave any kind of a white spot. It goes all the way to the top and a little on the edge. Okay, just like so. I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna do the one before, or uh, below. Turn it over.
You want to make sure it stays in place. Okay. So this one's going to go all the way down. I'm trying to get it where you can see, but here, this will work better. You can see it now. I'm going all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to line it up all the way across. Like so. Okay. Now this one here is the different one because when I open it, I want one, I have it taped under there to get it to lay flat. You want one to come on the other side. So I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time it's going to be on this side where it is taped. So get an eyeball it so you have an idea. being persnickety. Okay. I'm going to lay it in here. Push down so everything lines up. How easy is that? And there it is. So simply lining everything up on the side and on the side this one, make sure that it goes all the way to the bottom of the white. And this one comes all the way to the top of the white. Very, very easy. Okay? All right. So let's work with the Easter lily part of it. So I took a lemon lolly deckled rectangle, which I love the deckled things. I would take some deckled squares. Would that be nice? or ovals, ovals would be nice. And I'm gonna put that there. And then let's get all the pieces to the lily. So I went on ahead and I did all of the embossing on these. I just ran them. The whole thing is, wasn't the, the embossing to show off, it was to do all of the, the actual card. So here are the pieces that I need. For the lily, I have the stem, and I have a petal that is somewhat opened. I have a petal that is fully opened, or a flower, and I have blooms that are popping up at the top, okay? So I'm going to go on ahead, and I emboss them with white, uh, gold on white paper, but I want to add color to them. And even though they are embossed, I can add color and it will stay in the middle of where the embossing powder is not. So I'm just gonna go in here and I'm just gonna go in between all the embossing lines and lay in my blends. I'm not gonna get real detailed with this one. I'm just not gonna worry about shading it and all that. There's not a lot there in terms of space to work with. I'm just gonna let the gold be the, the important part, but I'm gonna add the green. Okay, now I laid my blends on there. I have nothing on my finger from the gold whatsoever. It's there, it's fine. I'm gonna do that one. I'm gonna do this one down here on the bottom. And I'm just gonna come up a little ways with some green just at the middle there. And I'm gonna do the same thing here. But this time I am gonna color in because these have not opened up yet. So they're still pretty green in places. Okay. Same thing, just coming in here. Putting that in. And then there's a little bit of yellow. I'm gonna put, there's some white showing, but I'm gonna go on ahead and put some yellow there for the middle. And this one here, I'm gonna put a little yellow on the inside, like it's one of the stamen coming. All right, now how do I, am I gonna work on this one? What am I gonna do to this? Cause it needs some yellow, but I don't really want to, to use my blends to color it, okay? So I'm gonna go on ahead and go back to my Lemon Lolly ink. 
and I have a little piece of sponge, and I'm just gonna sponge in a little bit of color, okay? So I'm just gonna start in the middle and kind of work out. I'm just getting the center of that lily because it's usually a little yellow in there, like so. Now, this time though, I did use ink and there probably is some residue on top of that embossing. Nope, not, not as much as I thought there would be. Hmm. All right, and I just took the stamens and I ran them with gold foil. This is the piece and they stick it right here. <clears throat> but I don't like that little point on the end. It's got this little circle that's got a dent in it, and I don't like it. <coughs> so what do I do? I cut it down. I'm much happier with that. Just a minute, guys. <coughs> Sorry about that. And I'm going to take this and put it in right here. And there's my lily. Isn't this pretty? This is a beautiful set. Really, really striking. I can't wait to share with you the Easter sampler we're doing with it. Okay, so I'm gonna go on ahead and I'm gonna start with this one. And to attach, it needs to be attached to this one. And that helps to hold those top and bottom down too. So I'm gonna go on ahead and just lay this on here and I'm going to put my adhesive in the middle all the way across. The nice thing about plaid is that you can kind of check and count. So I have one, two, one, two, and a little bit over, so I'm in good spot there. I have one, two and a half, one, two, three. So I'm gonna come down a little bit. And I can kinda use my, my checks to help me line it up some, okay? So there's that. Now we're gonna build our lily. So we're gonna start first with our stem. I'm going to use a couple of pieces of dimensional on the edge. Okay. I'm gonna bring it to the bottom and anchor it down. Then I'm going to take the lily itself and let's put some dimensionals on it. So we will be live tomorrow night, um, probably closer to 7.30 because we want to zip over and see our grandson before he leaves to, before we leave for Houston and before he goes to bed. So if we zip over there and do that here, I'll be back in time for 7.30. And Pam is in charge. She's doing, um, I don't know, it's some new technique with, with color that she's doing. All right, so I'm gonna go on ahead and put a couple of dimensionals here, but I'm not gonna put it on the bottom. I'm gonna put it on the top of the bloom, and that way I can just kind of tuck that in like so. And then the last one, where is the blooms? There they are. And again, I'm only gonna put it on the top of the bloom. And 
just gonna poke those in there. And there's my Easter lily. And the only thing else I'm going to do is take the swallows, or I'm gonna think of them as little doves. Like so, and I'm just gonna put a couple in here. I love those little birds. They are the prettiest. And there's my card for today, guys. Easy, 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 fun fold. That is so neat, and it just really sets itself off using the Granny Apple Green and Lemon Lime Twist and Lemon Lolly and the Easter Lilies. So I hope you enjoyed that. We will be doing another one of these here. Um, I'll, tomorrow, I was running all the measurements in my head and telling you on here, but um, I will be posting a PDF on my website and you can go on there and you can get all the measurements. And I tell you what, look at those cards that come handmade. Pay attention to them because those are some of the ones you wanna turn around and recreate. And I wouldn't have done this one had it not been that I had one in my hand to look at. So, okay, take care. God bless. Have a great day. And thank you for being willing to switch out to the evening. It allowed us to have lunch with a friend who was visiting from Alabama. So, take care. Bye-bye.